Okay, I'm going to uh, show you guys how to change your theme from uh, your uh, boring blue and green one, and then you also got this uh, boring classic theme, and then some of you guys have the uh, royal theme, which is, you know, okay. And I'm going to show you guys how to uh, change these. I'm going to show you how to change a certain file to get this to work so you can get unsigned files and now anything you want and make it work and make it look good. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download a couple files and one program you need you're, going to have, you're already going to need to have installed is called WinRAR and what it does is uh, it's an extracting program and it just deals with a certain file format we need to use got a dot rar file which is we'll just need it okay the first thing you're gonna need is download replacer I'll post links in my description you need to get the, the, the stable version and then go ahead and extract these to your uh, your desktop and then another file you'll need is called the UX theme dot DLL and you can find it here you're gonna click on UX theme pick your operating system I'm running XP of course your service pack you can find under the properties of my computer. It says service pack 2 right here. I'm going to click service pack 2. And then you can look right here. I don't know, there's PRC. Anyways, I want underscore EN for English. Go ahead and download this to my desktop. Open it and extract it. And then we're going to do that. And then we're done downloading files. Now you want to run replacer. Okay, now it's going to ask you for the original file. So we're going to go on uh, my computer, local disk, or your hard drive. Then you want to go to um, Windows. Then you want to find System32. Now you want to find UX Theme. And you want to copy it. UX Theme.dl. And copy this. And put it under your local disk or somewhere. Just back it up somewhere. Just in case, you know, you run into problems. I'm not saying that you will. I never have, but just in case. Okay, and then drag this file into the command prompt like it asks. And then just press enter. Now it wants a replacement, so we can close this out. And then we're going to get the one we just downloaded that we extracted to our desktop. Drag it here and press enter. And then it's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and do this. I'm going to say yes. And it backs it up somewhere. Don't ask me where. Now it's going to ask for a reboot. Okay, I'm not going to reboot, but go ahead and say that. Now, I'm not going to reboot, just in case, you know, I'm, because I've already done it. And already delete the files that you don't need, we don't need them anymore, yes to all. Now, you should be able to change your themes to whatever you want, and I'll show you some themes I have. These are some themes I have right here. See? I didn't have to install any third party programs or anything like that. And I'm also going to show you how to... Ooh, I don't like that. Let me change it. I don't like that one. Um, I'll find one. I've already done this, yeah, as you can tell. This one's my favorite. So I'm going to do this one. Okay. Got that theme. And I'll, I'll post some links. Or I'll post a link to a website I found. Tons of these links. Now I'm going to show you how to install a theme. This part is the easiest part. So let me go find one. I want to download this global one I've been meaning to download. And I'll post this website so you can go and browse the themes and whatnot. And then it's just going to kind of give you a screenshot and I'm going to go down here and download the file. If I'm running too fast for you guys, don't post comments because I most likely won't respond to them, but send me messages. And now it's just going to ask, make sure you read them, the terms and conditions and all that. And you want to save this to your disk, okay? And this will take a couple minutes to download, so we'll sit here. It's downloading. I'm going to pause this. Okay, my uh, file is done downloading. And I, it's, I downloaded it to my desktop. See, it's right here. And I'm going to extract these files to a folder I have in my documents called themes. I'm going to make it called global. 
you don't have to have one, but it's kind of neat to have a folder in case you ever want to back your files. And you know your themes are just right there. Okay, now you want to go to where you extracted your theme that you just downloaded. And you want to copy everything. Except for this installation file. And sometimes they'll have like, uh, I don't know, just some random files. Now you want to go back to that folder we went to. You want to go to C, and you want to go to Windows. And then you want to find a folder called, uh, I think it's called Resources. Something like that. And I don't remember if it's, yeah, Resources. And then one called Themes. Then you want to paste all the files you just downloaded. See? And then you want to close that out. Close that out. Right click. Go to Properties. Themes. And it's called Global. And here it is right here. Here's my global one. I just downloaded it. Just want to thank you guys for uh, watching, and um, just want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't leave comments about your questions because I don't answer through my comments. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys understood what happened. If not message me, and I'll help you the best I can. See you guys later.